go to sleep and dream. We need a paper towel roll, a paper plate for your palette. Not a, you can use a paper towel roll. I said paper towel roll, but this is toilet paper roll. A paper towel to dry your brush off with. You only need one brush because we're going to use the toilet paper roll for what we're going to do. You need a water cup and some acrylic paints. And it really doesn't matter what colors you're gonna use. It just depends on what you want for your background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint our background of our dandelion. And then I'm gonna show you how to use this toilet paper roll to make, a make the dandelion itself. So we're gonna paint our background to be a sunset. Some pink and some purple and some orangey color. So I'm gonna pick out my colors over here and then I'm gonna mix my colors and I'll get back with you after I mix them. I don't want any relief. I don't want to let you go right now. So I'm just, this is very loosey goosey kind of painting. It's not gonna be exact. So I'm just kind of doing circles out and don't forget that this bottom part of the painting is gonna be the ground. We're gonna paint the ground in black cause it's gonna be a silhouette. So what I did is I started with red and blue and I made this purple color and that's gonna be the very outside of the yeah, sunset green. where it's dark. I know that, but it's dark. The sun is set. So the silhouette would be black cause it's a shadow. Anyway, so I made this purple color out of red and blue. I have a little blue dot in there because I didn't know if I wanted to use more. And then I used some of that purple color and added more red and made this red color right here. Then I added, took the red and I added more white and I made this pink color here. Then I took that and I added yellow and I made this orangey color. And then finally I cleaned my brush and I just did yellow and white for the center of the sun. So I've just taken some of this um, orangey color and I've made this halo around the sun where it's starting to turn red Then I'm gonna take the pink and I'm gonna go outside of that and I'm not brush I'm not washing my brush in the middle of this. We can't be wasting pa paper towels these days guys So I'm not washing my brush in this in the middle I'm just adding color and I want to go a little bit more out here with the pink so I'm gonna go out now I'm gonna grab some red. I'm gonna go off further. I think I'm gonna go back and forth between these colors as I go. So it's gonna create this, uh-oh, almost got it on my, what I have under here is some watercolor paper. I started, uh, I was gonna do a painting of our house and I may do that on video for y'all over this break. I may have time now to do it over the break. So, we shall see, but I'm gonna keep going outward. When the solid ground is falling now from underneath my feet, between the black skies and my red eyes, I can barely see. When I realize I've been sold out by my friends and my family, I can feel the rain reminding me. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've painted it with acrylic in the past, 
you've probably had issues with like it not covering like you wanted it to or it just looks kind of blah when you paint it and the thing is a lot of people don't know is that paint needs layers so what we're gonna do is let this dry and you can blow dry it if you don't have any patience but let this dry and then go back again and paint more layers to it and it makes the painting look a lot better so we have blown our painting dry and now we're going to add another layer to the painting and this one's not going to take as much paint because we already have the first layer down but we just want to go in and there's some white showing and it's not as deep in some parts so we want to go in and and fix that. I'll do the rest of this one. Do you want to do this yeah. one? Now you want to paint. All right. Mm. When the test comes in and the doctor says I've only got a few months left, it's like a bitter pill I'm swallowing. I can barely take a breath. And when addiction steals my baby girl, and there's nothing I can do. My only hope is to trust you I trust you, Lord In the eye of the storm You remain in control kind of mixing the color on the canvas. I like that. I'm going to keep that too. So, this painting is, what did I call it? Loosey Goosey? Yeah. Yeah. It's not perfect, and it wasn't meant to be perfect. Is it easy? No, it, it yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Oh, you're precious. <laughs> So we are back. Merrick Cole has woken up from his nap. So this is going to be an interesting thing. I'm probably going to have to stop in a minute. Right now he's over there eating applesauce. So we'll see how this goes. So what we're going to do is we are going to use this toilet paper roll. I have cut it um, down the side to be able to roll it up a little bit thinner because we kind of have a small canvas. I do. If you have a big canvas, you can probably leave it like it is. But I don't want my dandelion to be like huge on my canvas, so I'm going to make it smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut tiny slips of this toilet paper roll to be the seeds that are sticking out on the dandelion. And you want to cut them about half as wide as you want your dandelion. So I'm going to just kind of stop there, and you're eyeballing this. So there's no right way to do it. <laughs> Barrett Cole's fussing over there. And just keep cutting and it's like you're making fringe out of the toilet paper roll. It's because I really don't know where you all, guys all are on your art. So I didn't want to make it difficult where y'all were like oh I don't know what I'm doing I'm not gonna do it anymore but make it easy you make art and then you think ah I'm an artist and then you'll keep going all right so once you get it like this make it smaller and honestly you could probably cut this and make multiple little stampers to do multiple dandy lines I just feel like I want it to be really small and have a bunch of those little 
um, things coming off of it because that's going to help the dandelion look. Kind of looks rolling around. But I am going to put a ponytail holder around my little stamper. Oh, my hair. I literally just took it out of my hair. Hey. So we're going to use the color black. Can you say black? Black. Good job. Okay. So we will. I'm just going to use the same brush I was using before. It's been sitting in my water. It will not hurt it. But you do, it's kind of really dirty water. So we want to get it pretty dry because we want the black to be super black. So like I said, I am going to go down the bottom and I'm just going to do some grass blades. No. I want them to be thick. Oh yeah, you need help? Have the um all right so we're just gonna paint bear call you gonna help me uh, yeah i don't know what do you think bear it. you think we should stamp it on the paint yeah. yeah probably uh we can't climb onto the desk no thank you smush 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 Oh, that didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Okay, new plan. We need more paint. More cowbell. Comment if you got it. And you know what I don't like? I don't like how big my dandelion is. So I'm gonna cut off the excess. My scissors are getting all good and gunky. But I'm gonna make this dandelion a lot smaller. Ooh, bear, bear. So, I am going to stamp it into the paint. And then we're gonna come in and go. It knows no end, all these pieces. Got a little dandelion going on there. I'm gonna do the same yeah. for okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this space over here to do some lettering. So these are my little dandelions. And then I'm going to paint them. Obviously, dandelions have little spaces in the middle, and then they have stems. I'm going to paint my dandelion a stem and a little circle in the middle. hope y'all enjoyed now and then I'm gonna come back later and take this and I'm gonna show you how to do some of that girly lettering on this side so if you're a guy in this group you may not I don't know that this might be <laughs> hope y'all have fun I, um, so send me your pictures on remind or if you want to post them on Instagram tag me in the paintings same old